What's up guys? Welcome back to Trading with Emotions. I'm going to make this video pretty quick. Just want to go over uh, finding here and kind of update the charts uh, based on this finding. So I made a indicator here recently. A uh, pretty straightforward indicator. It helps with the cycle, helps spots and track other cycles in the market. Uh, so pretty straightforward. What it does in this case, I have a set of crypto that I think is relevant to the cycle, the way liquidity is used. Uh, we know that Ethereum Classic is highly correlated with AMC, uh, but I do believe that it's not just Ethereum Classic. I think there's a lot of other meme cryptos and a lot of other cryptos in the market that are used for liquidity uh, in the stock market, right? And with other uh, securities as well. But in this case, this one is particularly uh, relevant to AMC, why I think uh, it's, uh, it's useful. And it's going to help us here in this case because for, for those that are familiar with the cycle, you know that the next point of interest is in April. Uh, so this one is is a point of interest starts uh, closer to mid-April time and kind of goes over into May. So it's like right in between in the, uh, in the month that we have this next uh, point of interest on AMC. And yes, we are still in a projector pattern. Projector pattern is what happens before every major run-up, except this one is pretty big. It's pretty large. Okay, so on to this indicator here. Just uh, pretty basic stuff. What it does is it will plot the uh, the change in percentage over a selected period of time. In this case, we have just the 300 days on from this point on, and the rest is is going to be AMC's um, calculated percentage in displayed in this line form, right? So we have here uh, selected. We have some some cryptos that show the highest percentage in return over that period in time. So this is really good for spotting volatility in crypto without having to look at every single crypto chart and then combining them together and putting them into one, right? This does that for me. It cancels everything out and only only uh, pins point the highest percentage uh, in return over that selected period of time. So in this case, we have a bunch of these, these uh, cryptos here. And we have AMC's chart, right? So we have here Ethereum Classic right before the run-up. Okay, we know that that was used for liquidity, obviously, because that's the one that tracks the most. It's the most accurate, right? But once that pumps and trades sideways, other cryptos are going to go, right? Because this is a works like the stock market. It's a cycle rotation uh, in that other cryptos go next. Uh, for example, here we have Doge, right? Doge comes here, pumps, November. And then we have AMC pumping right after that as well. Okay, and then here we have a larger series because this is where crypto really started to take uh, to kick off, and we saw a bunch of other cryptos go. Uh, so we see a nice little bump here as well, kind of distributed throughout this entire series of projectors because we're starting to see a change in direction here on AMC's chart. So it's not really pointing down anymore. It, it's changing that direction we're respecting the ascending level of support very well okay and that hasn't quite happened on the previous pois uh, the previous pois have been pump and dumps okay so this is relevant to this chart because we can compare the setup here to the historical chart here very simple so what we're going to do is we're going to come back here because this is where we are in the cycle and this is where we've been except things have been delayed over and over and over and over again, right? These POIs are not going to predict the when the squeeze is going to happen. They're going to predict the volatility that can happen around that date, okay, around that date range. So this is relevant to the POI in, in April for a couple of reasons. We have the vote coming up soon here, which we've already talked about, and how we can potentially experience a short-term run-up leading up to this major POI. Uh, we also have the delay, which I, on the previous video, I talked about how this wasn't an accident. Like, it's pretty clear that if they're delaying this, they want it to line up with these volatility zones in the market so that when it does peak, the overall market as it's projected to come down, that naturally brings AMC down with it, right? That pressure that they want from um, the overall markets. That's why AMC always pumps right before the market's about to come down. So if we take that into account... What do we have here? 
Well, in April 2020, that's the first little bump we have here on the chart, right? So we're going to draw, we're going to take this here, we're going to draw all three. Here's the second one. Here's the third. And then here's that final one, right? The VIX goes up like crazy and it comes down. Okay, so this right here, I'm not changing the time, I'm not changing anything, I'm just going to drag it over right over here. And what do we have? We have the same thing. We have this M-shaped pattern I talk about before a volatility zone. Now, this doesn't always happen in the markets, but we usually see this sort of like shake-off phase in the markets where it's just it really is just accumulation on these um, with what these institutions are doing. Just shaking everyone off, accumulating all of these shares, all of these cryptos ready for the markets to pump, right? Well, look at this. We have one, two, three, and then that final one, four, lining up in April right on that point of interest. And you're seeing this right over here on AMC's chart. Okay, so that's pretty relevant if you um, and if you take historical data into account. And I think it's, it's pretty pretty clear that we can see the same structure on the current, uh, what the current cryptos are doing. Okay, so um, again, this is just another reason that I think we're going to run in the shorter term. And with, you know, with everything going on, if the vote is still a yes, which is how we're really just considering everything, the chances of it being a yes is higher. Um, I think you, that's not saying that's going to happen, but it's, it is a higher chance that it's probably going to be a yes. Um, and if those events do take place like that, then I think this is definitely something we that is possible. Considering that, you know, Metamaterials, support.com, these guys had already done that in the past where we saw that kick in right before that split took place and before they had the, these merger um, events as well. So as far as the TA goes, I still think AMC is holding up uh, pretty nicely here. I think in the next week or two, we might come down and retest that $5 range and then trade sideways there for about a day or two going into that vote. I think once that vote takes place, that's going to be the first catalyst, potentially take us back up to set up and then start climbing up in April. All right, that is sort of this uh, scenario um, I have here based on that, based on that indicator here. And uh, yeah, man, that's, that's what I got for you guys. So keep you updated, make other videos if things start uh, lining up, playing out that same way. And we'll leave it there, all right? You guys take care, bye-bye.